working on the scientific notation. Operations with numbers in the scientific notation. So we're going to practice operations with numbers expressed in scientific notation and standard notation. But before we start, did you know? Did you know that today in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell received the patent for his revolutionary new invention, the telephone. Three days after filing the patent, he successfully tested his new invention, and the first successful words spoken over the phone were, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. So, Keon, how long ago was 1876? How many years ago? Keon? 146. Very good, yes, that was 146 years ago. It's come a long way. All right, Alexander Graham Bell also said, before anything else, preparation is the key to success, which you will find is very true the older you get. All right, so let's do some examples. The world population is roughly 7 billion people. That is a lot. But there are 4.6 times 10 to the seventh ants for every human on the planet. That is just so many ants. How many ants are there in the world? So it's 4.6 times 10 to the seventh per human. All right, so we first have to write the 7 billion in scientific notation, which is 7 times 10 to the ninth, because this is what 7 billion looks like in scientific notation. To find the number of ants in the world, we need to multiply the world population by the known number of ants for each person. So we'd have to multiply 7 times 10 to the ninth times 4.6 times 10 to the seventh. We do this by repeated use of associative and communicative properties, right? So we group the two numbers together and then we group the two exponents together. So we seven times 4.6 times 10 to the ninth times 10 to the seventh. By the first law of exponents, which is that we add exponents together when you're multiplying by the same base, we get 4 times 4.6 times 7 is 32.2 times 10 to the 16th. So 3.22 times 10 times 10 to the 16th. or 3.22 times 10 to the 17th. So what we did was we simplified this into a smaller number, right? So we took the 10 out because it needs to be a less than 10 number because otherwise you can multiply it and have another expo exponent on it. So, the number of ants in the world are 3.22 times 10 to the 17th. That is just entirely too many ants. That's 3.22 times 10, 17 times. So, in last one, in 2010, Americans generated... 22.5 times 10 to the 8th tons of garbage. There are a roughly 2,000 landfills in the U.S. Assuming that each landfill is the same size and that trash is equally divided amongst them, determine how many tons of garbage were sent to each landfill in 2010. So we need to write 2,000 in scientific notation. What would that be? That long. 
um write write it in six it's uh two multiply by uh ten not three very good on scientific notation two thousand is two times ten to the third all right to find the number of tons of garbage since each landfill we need to divide the total weight of the garbage by the number of landfills which was 2.5 times 10 to the eighth over 2 times 10 to the third so by the product formula 2.5 divided by 2 times 10 to the eighth divided by 10 to the third by the first law of exponents we know that that means it's 10 to the fifth right you just subtract so 2.5 divided by 2 gives us 1.25 times 10 to the fifth so each landfill received 1.25 times 10 to the fifth tons of garbage in 2010. now let's do some practice remember no using calculators you don't need to since we're doing this in scientific okay all right all right remember it's more important that you get the answers correctly they're correct than it is to do this quickly make sure you're formatting everything correctly okay i'm back again teacher all right good just in time to go over the answers right all right, so I be uh, so the speed of light is three hundred million meters per second. The sun is approximately one point five times ten to the eleventh me meters from Earth. How many seconds does it take for sunlight to reach Earth? First thing you have to do is you have to turn this three hundred million into the scientific notation form which is three times ten to the eighth because there are eight zeros right here so then you divide 1.5 times 10 to the 11th divided by three times 10 to the eighth so you take that 1.5 divided by three which gives you 0.5 and then you take that 10 to the 11th divided by 10 to the 8th, which we really know just means to subtract, it gives us 10.3. So it's 0.5 times 10 to the third, except that when you're doing scientific notation, there needs to be at least, you know, there needs to be a whole number before this zero or before the decimal point, right? So, you just take one of these exponents off, so it'd be 0. 0.5 times 10 times 10 to the second, which gives us 5 times 10 to the second. So like I said, there always needs to be a whole number in front of the decimal point. So that means it's 5 times 10 to the second, or 500. It takes 500 seconds for sunlight to reach Earth. How many minutes is that? Bill, all right, that long. Yes. How many minutes is that? It's about uh, eight and uh, 20 seconds. Eight minutes, 20 seconds, right? Very good, yes, it's about 8.3 minutes. 8.33333, very good.